All righty then. We have the FFAR. We're using this blueprint that has the uh, alternative iron sights, if that's the word. The alternate iron sights. <clears throat> Apologize for the clearing of voice. I just had a freaking sneeze attack, and it feels like I got a, a worm in my throat. So, basically, what we're going to do here is use the FFAR like an SMG, because that's where it's most beneficial. Obviously, it's going to have a little more in the range category compared to SMGs, but it has that fiery to compete in the SMG class. Which way are you going? Yeah, I saw you. There was another one. I thought for sure they had jumped out, but I'm off to a hot start on Echelon. I didn't realize there was going to be another one up there. Teammates should clean that up and the spawns should flip. Obviously, the central, con I, I think this is called control room, is going to be how you control this map. So we need to make sure we're on top of that. We don't want to give it up. We do want to be aggressive, but we don't want to give up control room control. That's kind of an awkward saying, control room control. I'm actually quite unsure. Uh, okay, there's a guy pushing that way. Meet him here. Two of them. We just gave up control of control room, actually. Oh, teammate must have gained it back. I got stunned from somewhere. All right, they're this way. Oh, yeah, sure. He made you costing me. No, I costed myself. 16 and 2. We're still on a, a, a pace. Not getting away on my watch. It appears I may be spawning near them, though, actually. Because they were over here. Which I may be able to get a decent flank on. Unless teammates already cleaned it up, which is a... Yeah, they did. Except for this guy, and they cleaned that up, too. Well, we got the harp. Take advantage. I gotta go, I'm in danger. That's 26. My team's actually nasty with it. My team's nasty with it, man. 50 may be challenging, but I'm featuring this thing rather well. So I think I may just stick with the gameplay that uh, the, this one here. I think I've done a pretty dang good job of featuring it. So in turn, I think I should just keep the gameplay. This guy over here is just on a massive flank. All right, let's hit this cruise missile. We're at 30. All right. That's 33. Ah, it's going to be tough to get 50. I'm going to have to remain a pace. It's kind of unrealistic, actually. It's not like out of the question for me to keep the pace, but it's going to be extremely difficult to do so. With how my team is playing, that is. I got one shot here. Oh my goodness, I jumped. I jumped off the map. That 
That's oh my god. Oh my god. Mmm, that's sensational. Sensational work out of you, boy. Forty one. Okay. I couldn't even see him. Oh, that's an that's an angle from hell. Couldn't even see the man. Okay, we're behind him. Okay. Thank you. There is a this these mulattoes. My goodness. No, I cannot choke this. We didn't choke. That's at least the positives here. That's at least the positive. For a second there, it got sketchy. I'll be the first to say it. One more kill, and that is 58 and five with the FFAR. This thing felt absolutely sensational. So this is actually something I never did in Cold War's primary life cycle is try the FFAR without a barrel. The barrels in Cold War are, well, across the board the same when it comes weapon to weapon, but I know as time has gone on with future games, Modern Warfare 2, Vanguard, Modern Warfare 3, I've come more into touch with not using barrels because the base statistics of the weapon are actually very good. So it was definitely a little bit of a change up here, and it was pretty good in my opinion. So we're going to start with our muzzle, the infantry compensator here. You are still going to need contro to control recoil. It is the FFAR after all, and I'm sure you know how large the kick is on the weapon. So the infantry compensator is attached to number one for the underbarrel. Targeting more recoil control is the field agent grip. Targeting horizontal and vertical recoil control. More on the basis of horizontal, but that vertical is no slouch either. For the magazine here, I'm going with the 44 on mag. This is definitely one that you can swap out based on your play style and, well, how fast you're playing. If you're someone that's slower paced, you can definitely go with maybe even just the normal 38 round mag here. But if you're faster paced, the larger magazine sizes are going to be a benefit. For the handle, the airborne elastic grab is to gain a lot of aim down sight speed at 30%. And then the Raider stock is going to be targeting not only movement, but also sprint to fire speed for max aggression here. So here's going to be all those attachments on the screen. Make sure you guys are pausing the video to copy this down. If you guys do want to give this a try in game, make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button for me. If you have not already, I'll see you guys in the next one.